What is up, Republic of Gamers, and welcome to ROG Pulse, the weekly podcast where we dive into all things tech and gaming. My name is Jake Kalinsky, and I've got Jeff and Whitson joining me once again. Whitson, what's good? Everything. Everything. Lots of things are good. All the things. <laughs> all the things. You know what's good? Ghost Runner. That's what I've been playing lately, and it really? is oh, wow. good. Mm, diving in, yeah. It's so fun. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know why I like it so much, because it's like one of those kind of punishing, like you die a billion times, which is not usually my thing, mm -hmm. but I can't get off of it. It's so fun. So that's what's good. I played a lot of Ghost Runner. Uh, and if you have Amazon times. Prime, it's free right now. So everyone go out and get it for free Dang. if you have Amazon Prime. Like, it's awesome. Seems to be That seems to be your sort of game, Whitson. Didn't you really like Deathloop too? I did. I feel okay. like those are two yeah. very different games. Mm. I feel like Ghost Runner yeah. is like if Doom Eternal and like portal had a weird baby that's, with like some super meat boy mixed in i guess like it's a really weird yeah, mix of fair. platforming and super super fast paced killing <laughs> yeah you, one hit you're dead that's kind fair. of game yeah it's a lot of fun yeah. yeah i played a lot of that when it came out for sure but hmm. I, I i feel like they're gonna make a sequel or a dlc or something soon i feel like they would mm -hmm. because it has a a, a pretty strong like fan base because it's it's a speed yeah. runner oh like, yeah it's 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 very much like um and here we go speed runners have fun kind of game like they built it yeah, with no. that in mind i feel i mean it's got that little timer in the corner that just counts how long it takes you to like get, i'm yeah. like this was basically yeah. made for speed runners to just like put up on youtube and make me feel bad about myself that's <laughs> what this game is for <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, people are asking in chat, is this pre-recorded? No, no, it's not. No. And we do have we do have giveaways today, and actually I gotta make set the timer question. up. I'll, I'll throw it at twenty two minutes. You know, roughly. We're just our 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 production values are so high. Oh, it's it's gotta be pre-recorded, pre right? It's gotta be. Um <laughs> but, if it were pre-recorded, we wouldn't be fifteen minutes late, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that, this is this is a fact. <laughs> this is a fact. Uh, but we we are gonna give away some Games Planet vouchers on tw in Twitch chat, so you gotta you gotta be in Twitch chat to to win. Um, but we will be doing that. The timer is now going. Jeff, what is good, my friend? You know what I've been playing a lot of recently. That it's not even a 3D game, but people should absolutely be aware of it. Is the Jackbox Party Pack Eight? Dude, people are really have been this really into out. Jackbox Jackbox it Party is... Pack for the past year or two. Well, well yeah, it's a pandemic. Stuck pandemic. I, it, I know. Yeah. I've never played it. It's, I think I have one of them. Oh my gosh, Whitson, you have to. You, you should if you've got a friend group like that gets. I don't. I don't have any friends. You, you guys are oh, my well. friends. Like that's. <laughs> well. So we're gonna play. We're gonna ROG late night Jackbox. Let's go. Yeah. Easy. Either that or my my friends are toddlers. That's the real problem. Yeah. That's... yeah. So Jake, you joke. You joke, but there are stream integrations, and you can like post the room code in um, on a stream and have okay. the audience join. It's it's wonderful. But there's there's a game in the Jackbox Party Pack Eight uh, called Job Job, which is it is riotous. I have not laughed my, so hard basically in years um, <laughs> with my with my with our little friend circle. Um, because it, it prompts you, you write a, you know, you write a like a short response to the prompt, but then it passes it off to other people and lets them chop it up and like do uh, responses to job interview questions and stuff. Uh, it, it's I'm really underselling it. It is wonderful. It, um, there are plenty of people streaming it on Twitch. If you go look, uh, you can co sort of give a sense of what's going on in it. But um, that's just one game, though, in it. And there are several others. It's just great. It's probably one of the best Jackbox party packs of all time. We, we, Hi, Jake. There we go. Played. RG Late Night. <sighs> yeah, I've played yeah. Jackbox in the past with some friends. And I remember there's one. I don't know if this was Party Pack 7 or what, where it's like Pokemon. It'll say like like King Cheese or uh -huh. something. And you draw King Cheese. And I they... think that's... And yeah, it, they, then they fight each other. Yeah, that's uh, champed that's, up. Which champ, is champed up. Yeah, that, yeah. It that sounds incredible. It's, great. it's hilarious. It is because you draw these drawings and then it animates them. They're just kind of bouncing on the screen and people that's vote. That's amazing. And then they fight and it's it's yeah. like you know when you're doing this with it's, a group, it's it's really fun. Like it's how have I missed yeah. out on the Jackbox Party Packs all this time? Yeah, I mean well. honestly, I only <laughs> I only knew about them since like the last year because of the yeah. pandemic. We the went pandemic. to a friend's house and. You know, it was our first time socializing with friends in a long time. They're like, oh, we've been playing this online. We should do this online together. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Uh, it that's is. Cool. And they are they are incredible. And the latest one is, I think they've really outdone themselves with it. So, but but it, right. it's, yeah. kind of, it's kind of a cool thing because you can do it both, um, you know, in that kind of in person atmosphere. Yeah. Or 
you can do it in, in a setting where, um, you know, everybody is on their phones in the same room. And that's, yeah. that's pretty unique. Mm -hmm. Or blend. I mean, you can yeah. get people into a Discord call who are remote. You can get people in the same room on a Discord call. Play, you know, as long as you have the room code, everybody can play, usually. There's one game in the new one that's kind of like Family Feud, and you have to split off into private groups because, like, talking about the choices will reveal information to the other team. And huh. it's it's not great for that, but it, it'll reveal important info to the other team, and you really don't want to so do that if really you're trying to win. But, built yeah, more for but, online. Yeah. Yeah. Or, well, it's built more for yeah. It's if you can segregate off into separate groups or the power um, of Discord. You know, have, have, yeah, private rooms. Uh, it's it's really good, but still, it's settled. I'm gonna get I, some I freaking friends. <laughs> yeah, first step one: get friends. Step two: play Jackbox Party Pack. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Um. All right. Well, that's none of that was even gaming news. Well, kind of. But it's absolutely it's gaming news. Jackbox Party Pack it's 8 new. just came out. Yeah, it just came oh, out. Oh, it did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So well, it there just you go. Came that's why I slapped and Ghost the... Runner's free right now. So both of oh, those are gaming yeah. news. There you go. All right. Speaking of gaming news, God of War. Like, legitimately, yesterday morning, I, I fired up my PlayStation 5 to, to claim my free games on PlayStation Plus. Like, every month, you get oh, a few yeah. free games. So I had to go in and claim them. And, you know, I was just chatting with my wife. And I was like, there's just, I, you know, I was just, just like, I think I was talking about how I was going to be setting up my PC on my OLED TV soon because I want to oh, experience some games and true, move. and true, you know, 120 hertz stuff. And then she's like, so why did you even buy a PS5? She was like <laughs> mad at me. She's just like, why did you even buy a PS5? For God just, of War. If your PC is just going to be better. And I'm like, well, for God of War, this game's never going to come out on, on PC. And I'm, and same day, so same day. So you $1,500 for God of War. <laughs> like you just got the OLED TV and the PlayStation just more, more than that. But, um, <laughs> you know, but, but yes. And cause, cause, cause I also, and I also have a new sound bar and, and bass and I got, ah, I got a yes. Sonos sound, you nice. know, sound bar and I got the subwoofer. So it spent a lot of money uh, on our home theater, <laughs> but it's not something we've ever owned. Anyways. Uh, I yeah. will say playing God of war on that big TV experience is something with the sound bar, with the audio, with the Incredible. whole system is like, is, 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 is it's my absolute favorite single player gaming experience I've ever had. So the fact that God of War, yeah, I, wow. I'm not the kind of person that will play a game twice. I don't, I don't do that. Guess what? God of War coming out on PC in January. You know, I'm, I have a 3080 Ti that's liquid cooled. I am. Even gonna, you know, there's a sequel coming out. I'm well, yeah, yeah. Well, who knows? Ragnarok got delayed by quite a while. Yeah, that's so, true. Um, because I guess the voice actor had surgery on his back oh. and he couldn't. Oh, uh, oh yeah. He couldn't uh, Chris judge work. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. January 4th. I Dude. think for, for yeah. PC it's I, I can't I mean I don't know if I'm going to play it again but I'm with you best single player experience I've ever had and I'm so mad at myself because I actually played it on PS4 Pro like right before the PS5 came out Ooh. why didn't I just wait I don't know so I was kicking myself when the PS5 yeah. patch came out like why didn't I just wait and now I'm kicking myself again for not waiting another I, you can just wait every six months for the next best thing I'm glad I played it when I did but uh if you got if there's anyone watching right now that has not played this game yet guys this is exciting now is the time D jeff are you kidding do it I, do it so i don't own a console yeah well you're about I to own a pc own, i didn't you're... until i got the ps4 pro yeah. for work well, but really also yeah. for god of war and spider-man <laughs> well i that, that was not enough to convince me to get a console and bring it into my house but um I, i'm <laughs> to, really to, looking to forward to your house yeah, we have a Switch, I'll admit. But um, uh, it, the, the Switch is more know. of a mobile device yeah, it's, than it's, a console. It, 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 it's a console. It's a console. It's a console. Barely. Um, but, it can barely run 1080p, um, yeah, 60fps. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a mobile yeah. phone. Like, I'm sorry. It's a phone without a phone. The, the, the Switch the, the is an anomaly. Is, like, even, even, even my ROG Phone 2 is better uh, platform exactly. for Pokemon Unite than yeah. the Switch it is. Switch is so, just because it can maintain so a solid 60fps. So pitiful performance-wise. Like, as, yeah. as a 1080, it's a 720p device, right? Yeah. It really I don't know why is. they put... I, don't, I really don't know why they put a frame rate counter in Pokemon Unite because it just highlights how poor the performance is. But anyway... Um, I'm really excited because I've heard, you know, I've heard so many good things about God of War. Um, so, and I'm really eager to let check me it ask out. you something. Sure. Have you played any other God of War games? No. Okay. Well, it, that's okay. Cause it's kind of like a, it's, it's kind of like a soft reboot. It, but it's, okay. it's, a, it's, it's definitely a soft reboot. I, I honestly, I, like, I, I appreciate that I know the character Kratos. Like, I appreciate that I've played mm -hmm. those games. But those games, narratively, never really entertained me. I didn't ever really no. care. The combat was fun. You know, slaying and, and like, having the cool chain blades was cool. Um, yeah. But that was, yeah. it was a hack and slash game where there was very little substance for me. I just don't remember. Very different game. Yeah. Not even, but not I even would, similar. 
I would. So I, I before I played it, even though I knew it was kind of a soft reboot, I did go back and watch like some YouTube videos that okay. kind of walked, just like walked through the story of the original games. And I do feel like that enhanced the experience for me. Mm. Okay. So okay. I would, it, it won't take a ton of your time. Like I would just go watch one of those YouTube videos before you play just for the context. Okay. You can, but if you yeah. know any Greek mythology at all, I mean, that's half the context anyways. Um, yeah, sure. But it's and, still, you know. Yeah, I don't know. My wife. Like, Kratos, Kratos has been through some stuff. So I think part of the reason yeah. I love that game so much is the fact that I, I played that. It was the first game that I really played the whole thing through with my wife kind of as a spectator. She has no interest in console gaming. She just she just will not pick up a controller. That For her, that's just like a foreign material that she's not going to interact with. But <laughs> she she was really into the, the experience there. And she's never played the other God of War game. So, and she loved it. But anyways... Yeah, that's a it's, yeah, it's a pretty big deal have... that we have another Sony title coming to PC. Yeah, yeah, it is, and I that's you know I like I like that Sony is doing that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't like that they have pushed out the dark plates. I don't know if you guys have followed oh, this no. thing with no, D brand, the D brand, D brand, the company that makes all the skins for phones and stuff made these dark things they call dark plates, which are like, yeah, um, those, those white portions of the PS five can clip off. Yeah. And so D brand made black ones and, and it makes it look so cool. They, so mm -hmm. they produce these black ones that you can buy and clip onto your PS five and Sony kind of like threatened to sue them. So they pulled the dark plates off the market, uh, but they, now they put them back on with a slightly different design. It's like this whole back and forth yeah. thing. And it kind of just like, Oh, I love like all that kind of customization stuff. And so it like bugs right. me a little bit. It's so like, right. and I mean, with still like gear like this, PCs and consoles, like you want to make it your own. Like, I, I love that our yeah. Strix models, for example, have, they come with three armor caps in the pack. You could 3D print your own and make it look different than any other lap, mm -hmm. any other person that has the same laptop. I love that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. I really plus one understand. for Sony for God of War, minus yeah. one for dark place I, yeah i really don't understand what the big deal is with that because it's like if you're they probably want to sell their own it, well but they're not like they haven't made any efforts to do it it doesn't sound like but it, how long how far are we into the launch cycle of this thing almost a year months almost a year it's like if they were going to do it it feels like they would have done it. anyway i, I well it, but... you say that but it also if you, you'd think they would have vrr by now and how yeah. long did it take them to get <laughs> SSD support? Like half of the, a lot of those, a lot of the PS5 interface still doesn't have the same features that the PS4 yeah. had, even though they're basically the, the same interface. Like See, this, this is stuff is. Hmm. This is the kind. This is the kind of thing that I'm just like, okay, I have my PC, I have Steam. If a game, when the game comes to Steam at the price I want, <laughs> I'm gonna buy it, and that's the end of the story. I don't Steam. need to worry about the churn of, uh, the churn and minutiae of. It's Close slightly platforms. more complicated than that now, but a few years ago it might well, have been slightly. I. Now you have okay. Epic and Battle.net sure. and Games Planet, sure. and... Origin, and okay. but if you have Steam, Actually, if you have Steam, if you have Steam and Xbox Game Pass, you're mostly covered. That's true. Oh. With with Origin, you not only have Origin, but you have EA Desktop too. Yeah, please, please which stop. is like please, a little bit because if you stop. have Game Pass, no, <laughs> no, I I need this. I, uh, I. I I hate it. I really. I, I, I'm, I'm pass, with Jeff. Though. I'm with Jeff. I've got. I've got BattleNet because I'm. I'm a big Blizzard guy. I always have been. I've got Steam, and nowadays I have Game Pass as well. That's the only third one that I have. I do but, have Epic Games, but it like it exists in the background. Like only the competition that these diff all these different stores have created is amazing. It's healthy. Like, yeah. I have all the, these amazing sure. free games yeah. I've gotten from Epic, and I've got like Games Planet is such a great place to get deals on games, um, mm -hmm. and Game Pass is obviously amazing, which. Yeah. Speaking of Game Pass, Minecraft coming to Game Pass November. I honestly am shocked that that wasn't there before. Same. So, so little piece of gaming just, news. Just, that to, was just to talk to chat really quick. Um, people are asking like when when certain devices are launching in certain regions. Guys, we we have no idea. I mean, global supply it, it, in all regions is is tough. We see these questions all the time. When are we getting this? I get those tweets on Twitter every week. People asking for X Y Z. Um, yeah, the whole we world either don't know or we can't tell well, you. No, no, yeah. it's, it, you know, <laughs> like, you, typically we don't know, but also it's like it's it's yeah. not it's not that we're trying to keep a product well, from your yeah. region. We want to sell every product we can, but guess what? Production globally of chips is still really bad. Oof. I mean, the pandemic has, has has thrown this world into a spiral. This is a pandemic that we thought that people were saying would last six months. Guess what? We've been in this for two years now. Um, it's uh Almost, it, it, yeah. it's it's really yeah i mean it's 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 not like we're we're trying to say no yeah. you guys don't deserve our products it's not yeah. at all what we're doing right. we would love for you to be able to buy our products but unfortunately it's not that simple um yeah. and that's we're we're we we are um 
random people scattered across North America. We don't know what the situation's like on the other side of the world. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's not like the situation's great here either. I mean, the product availability yeah, I know. is I'm just, just saying, like, yeah. yeah, I'm just, you know, we get these like, questions a lot. Right. So, um, so, yeah, stay, sit tight. Thank be you. Be patient. The entire, the entire world is uh, kind of shaking this off. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you for your interest. <laughs> and, we, we, we love your enthusiasm. And I guess yeah. the other thing I'll say is a lot of people are typing the commands um, in YouTube. Unfortunately, those commands only work in Twitch. There's some, there's basically certain things that prevent us from the bot from being able to work in YouTube. And um, I wish I could get it to work, mm -hmm. but so far it, there are other obstacles. Um, come watch us on Twitch. Come watch there's us on Twitch. 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 You got to be on Twitch, mm -hmm. unfortunately, also for other reasons. So mm -hmm. come on over. Free stuff on Twitch. Free stuff on Twitch. <laughs> YouTube doesn't let us do that. YouTube hates us. No, they don't hate that's, us. That's not entirely No, I know, I know. But, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's, it's, it's just more complicated over there. Um, it is so, a little more complicated. So, you know, in, in, in gaming news, I think that's pretty much the big news there. Minecraft is coming yeah. to Game Pass finally, which is, uh, frankly... Uh, it's really weird like the fact that microsoft <laughs> owns minecraft yeah. and that it's just now finally coming in, in november to games pass some other big titles that just dropped in game pass we I, we do talk about game pass more and more on this channel because the value is is, is getting pretty wild back for blood it's Bre gotten insane yeah last last week back for blood drop triple a title came out october 12th day one on game pass it's a 60 dollar game that i had pre-ordered yeah. and canceled because it's like why should i own this if i get it for free yep. on game pass yeah um yeah. destiny By the 2 way, playing that tomorrow on this channel yeah, we too. are yeah we're streaming you guys want to see back for blood in action come back tomorrow we've got a full squad and um yeah maybe maybe some game key giveaways to be determined we're trying we're trying um but regardless yeah. we'll have giveaways no matter what destiny 2 came out on on, on games pass um rift a game that i've been watching for a while played a bunch of it. if you've ever played the game they are billions kind of like these rts survival games um there's there's Frostpunk is another one that comes to mind. Uh, it's 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 yeah, like it's like that idea, but the difference is is you're one unit and you're creating a base and you're exploring territory and it's honestly an incredibly polished game. Had a great time streaming that yesterday. Uh, Outriders also now out, another co-op shooter. This is like the era of 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 co-op shooters. I feel there's just so many of them. Um, so it's cool. I like it. Bring them on. I love co-op shooters. There have never been enough of them, in my opinion yeah and now that there are so many i have no friends so like i wish that this had been flipped like step but, you one know. find friends step two play more co-op shooters yeah and i'm just waiting for my kids to grow up so that i can play video games with them yeah like, that's, the whole, that, I'm that's just, so sweet my whole it thing really I, I, yeah. my heart sincerely swells at that thought it really does yeah my whole goal was to just breed my own dungeons and dragons group like <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the way to do it yeah, that's, Are you, that's I, did, why did, I had kids. I, I gotta ask: Did you ever play D and D growing up? Did you ever play in D and D? Oh yeah, oh. I've been. I've been so do you want to? Do you like intend years. to DM for your kids when they're older? Is that something Absolutely. you want to do? Absolutely. If awesome. I can get them, I love to, that. Hundred percent. Yeah. See, we we kind of think that when we have kids, eventually our kids are going to be like super jocks or something polar opposite from us. Because oh yeah, uh, I'm worried about that too. <laughs> so my wife and actually. You and your wife are both like both we're, we're nerdy nerds. people. Oh, we're nerds. Yeah. For, through and My through. wife is a nerd in kind of a different way. Our leisure activities are very different. She doesn't really play video games. She doesn't do like the comic books. And we do, we are joining a D&D &D group together. She's done Hell a little bit yeah. of that, but not like, not the same level as me necessarily. So I don't mm -hmm. know what our, our kids could be total. Just like they just play soccer all day long. Mm. And I'll just be like, just sitting here by myself still My, with uh... no one to co-op shoot her with. It's funny because my wife is way more into D&D than I am. She's like <laughs> super into it. And she was never into that kind of stuff growing up. But um, Interesting. So tech news, anything big this week to, to discuss in the realm of GeForce, technology? Yeah, GeForce Now came out with their new like uh, kind of premium tier with RTX 3080. Um, mm -hmm. It's, I think, $100 for six months, which kind of sounds like a lot. But for $17 a month right now right now getting that kind of access even with the latency issues inherent to kind of yeah. streamed gaming services i mean yeah i mean it's not if you're if you've been like if, if if it fits the games you play and they're available and you know you need yeah. access to them i mean it's like yeah i mean why not why would you not yeah i um, I, I personally sometimes i wonder I, why i have this giant desktop here well, I personally can't so the thing is this i'm extremely sensitive to any kind of input lag 
Fair. Uh, just because my background is in uh, rhythm gaming, and like if if there is right. a sync issue or a latency issue, like I I will flip. I, I just can't do it. Um, but if you can if you can tolerate that, um, it, it's a cool thing. It might be a cool thing to try. So I'm not sensitive to input latency, but I am sensitive to huh. uh, uh, graphical compression artifacts. That's kind okay. of what what yeah. kills it a little bit for me is like I'm, it's very clear that I'm watching like a compressed like Netflix yeah. video instead of like something that was rendered on this right. machine. Right. Right. But all that said, I have used these streaming services and they blow my mind every time. And I honestly do uh -huh. think that it is the future of gaming, just not like yeah. the present or near future, but like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Down I, the line, I can see that. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I personally um will will never. I can't say never, but until <laughs> until the U.S. infrastructure is better, it will never take over right. from multiplayer gaming because any any right. added ounce of delay, if you give me right. two milliseconds extra of delay for that, and which is being that's never going to be that low, um, I, I want nothing to do with it. I am all about you know response. Yeah. you know I want it to sure. be perfect. Right. Um, for a wide Every swath time, of people, I but mean, look, could, let's just could work better. But yes, absolutely, a lot for a lot of people, especially those for just, just playing for, for people that play single player games. games yes, but I, I'm I'm just not that gamer. That's here's yeah. the thing. I think those people will just be streaming sooner than the multiplayer gamers. Yeah. But I still think one day none of us are going to have computers in our homes or like, like high power do computers. You, We're do all you just going to be doing normal computing on a server somewhere. So that America I, will so get to an infrastructure that supports that. Look, look, look. Uh, Every time someone someone like like thinks that we're never going to get to a certain point. I just remind them, guys, when we were kids, do you remember the size and power of computers when we were kids? Do you remember when like a computer took up an entire room? That was only like 30 years ago, yeah, 40 no, years but ago. Like, like fiber rollout is so bad, I feel like. Okay. You, well, we were using dial up as kids, Jake, yeah. dial up. Oh. Yeah. Just th like it, it, the it's, difference between uh, the, then the, and the, now is insanity. The, and it's just going to keep progressing. The, again, like skeptic. until, well, and, uh, the, the nice thing about personal computers is like that's an inherently democratic thing you can go out and buy one sure um like of your choice basic or you know have one shipped to you of you your can't choice currently do that with your internet screen. your internet service provider is well i'm not going to get too political about it but i i mm, more competition no, please more you're 100 percent right and that that is that is i think a big bottleneck to this future but yes, look, it's a huge our, bottle. We, it's we a now huge, carry a massive, immense bottleneck to this future. It is. But, I agree. And, so. and and luckily, we do have um, more and more small fiber companies starting up. Sometimes they're state-sponsored yeah. fiber companies are happening. I know Vermont has one. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, and that's until that's, the facto, that's until the de facto monopolies stomp them down. Cough, cough. If they're state supported, then I think there's a there's a lot that that can be said about that. But guys, but again, we, if let me just call out, we got yeah. one minute until the giveaway is going to happen. This giveaway is on Twitch. You need to be active on twitch.tv slash Asus ROG. You cannot win if you're in YouTube chat. The way the giveaway is going to work is going to be via typing a keyword in chat. You got 50 seconds to move on over um, and we'll do another giveaway at the end of the stream. But yeah, no, it's it, I mean, ISPs is a whole different can of worms. We don't need yeah. to. to, to no. super deep there because that could be a whole and, five pulse episode it's just series. something where i get angry also me, me um I, I do also want to point out like if if the if the future is vr if the future is ar like again latency is really really important yeah. and mm -hmm. again that you can't change the speed of light like those calculations those measurements have to take place basically in real time let's let's, and, let's um, just let's just um bounce on that and say do you think yeah. the future is vr or ar do you think we'll ever I, abandon it, the mouse and keyboard? Well, it very well could be. I think displays, processing power, all that is on a Moore's law or Moore's law-like mm -hmm. trajectory. Uh, internet speeds, the speed of light, are you know fairly fixed by comparison. So I do think you know one day we're going to have the displays, the, the quality of displays, the processing power necessary to really make that a, a better form of computing for more people. But um, yeah. It just you look at it's like what are the rates of change here? Like you know, the speed of light is ultimately a ceiling. Um, semiconductor technology is you know you know to a degree still subject to Moore's law uh, improvements, and so wherever you can find those, it probably say like, look, this is still going to get better. Um, it, it it will eventually. I, I would bank on uh, AR and VR um, becoming more accessible for more people in higher fidelity. Uh, than I would, you know, I, internet speeds radically changing during mm -hmm. our lifetimes, to be honest. But anyway. We'll see. We'll have a Pulse we episode 30 years from now. And we will see. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I'll have yeah. to cancel my D and D group with my kids. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to drag myself out of the retirement home. <laughs> we'll be 63 in 30 years. Let's All right. Not... <laughs> the keyword's on the screen. Let's not talk about that. Techno, <laughs> techno in all caps. I don't know why I chose techno. I was just listening to some great music earlier today. So Armin Van Buren and uh, nice. some, you know, just type techno yeah, nice. in chat. <laughs> Everyone's like, nice. Love Armin. State of trance. Yes. Yeah. I, uh. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't, man, I ha I've been out of the loop when it comes to trance music, but I used to like, I used to be really into that. I saw Above and Beyond live a couple Ooh, times. Man, and man, that's awesome. Oof, it was sweet. Used to listen to that podcast like every week. Yeah, it's That's my get in the zone kind of music. I just put some trance yeah. on and then yeah. I can just go do some I design work, it. you name it, like that gets me in the zone. It's death metal for me, but occasionally, like 90% death metal used to be like 10% electronic. Now it's just like 100% death metal all day, every day over hey. here. Yeah, cool. I would not. I would not have guessed that about you. It's <laughs> that's what everyone always says. <laughs> yeah, I don't get like what it's is fine. it about me? I, it's fine. I'm an inveterate Steely Dan fan. I'm a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what. I'll I, admit it. When it comes to metal genres, I, I I get confused as to like where the line crosses into death metal. So. I, it's, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. a whole nother can of worms. When I say well, death yeah. metal, I really mean like the larger umbrella and not specifically yeah. death metal. I listen to like that's progressive one of those, metal. I, 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 that's just one of those things where I'm like, okay, you can call it what you want. If it sounds good and I like it, I'll listen to it. I just don't want people to be confused when I say, if I said like metal or heavy metal, some people might yeah. think like poison mm. <laughs> and not like, you know, kill switch engage or something. Well, you like, know, like it's like very too different. Doesn't, doesn't really encompass like um, Dragon Force, right? That's like... No, but Dragon that? Force is awesome. Speed metal? Dragon Force is power, power, power metal, metal, speed power metal. metal. Yeah, yeah. They got a little bit of, they got a few different genres going on in there. Dragon Force is awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like baby metal. That's my, my favorite. Baby metal, metal is sick. I missed a chance to see them live and I still regret it. I missed it. I was man, what a show. Yeah, yeah. I was supposed to see them a couple of years ago. And, uh, and I, I think one of the members of the band died not like no, last year or something. No, they left the band. They didn't die. Oh, is yeah. that what it was? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I thought someone died. No, no, I remember no. being sadder about it than it. Oh, just maybe maybe their guitarist the died. That might be it. I don't know. The th one of the three girls left because there's the three girls. One oh, I, yeah. I was talking about one of the band band. Maybe. I think yeah. Maybe, you're band right. Maybe the, maybe the guitarist away. died. Yeah. yeah the, guitar, the guitar player did die. Thank yeah. you. Not not Mitch Shelton. Yeah. Wow. If he's not Mitch Shelton, who is he? Mm, we'll never know. Not Mitch Shelton. Makes though. you think. <laughs> Love baby metal. Oh, I'm going to. Yeah. Get... What's your favorite baby metal song? Do you know? Uh, you give me chocolate kind of guy. You like you like the new karate stuff. karate. That's a good song. I yeah, like, the newer I like the newer stuff a little bit better. Have you heard uh, their their song Papaya, from Dust Till Dawn? Papaya? I have not. Oh, listen to it. I probably need this. to catch up. On Papaya some of their is lit. It's a summer song, so we're kind of transitioning into fall. But uh, <laughs> I live in San Diego. It's you're always right. You're right. Some you're good. You're good. Summer. All right, we've got this giveaway. Uh, I think we've got quite a few entries at this point, so we can we can go ahead and um, close the entries. Yeah, we've got 84 entries. That's pretty good. All right, let's pick a winner. I don't know how we have 84, but that's Asian Venom, A-Z-N Venom. I think A-Z-N is pronounced Asian. I, I, yeah, 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 that's okay. usually how it goes. Yep. Or, or a Amazon Venom. <laughs> AMZ. Yeah, it depends on how many yeah. letters you have. A-Z-N Venom. Yeah. He says, yes. Okay. Congratulations. Or they, <laughs> uh, congratulations, Venom. Uh, we're going to add you to our, our giveaway list and I'll shoot you a private message after the stream concludes, um, containing your, your victory. Asian. <laughs> congrats. Congrats. Um, cool. All right. Well, let's, let's get into our main discussion for yeah. today. I'll throw a, oh, a, another like 15 minute timer on the screen. Give or take, and uh, you know, maybe maybe it'll be before then, maybe a little bit after. Uh, we'll do that at the end of the show. But today we're talking. Our main topic for the show, as we've been rambling aimlessly, is going to be actually just kind of taking a quick look at how far we've come when it comes to laptops and the technologies um, that that make these these laptops tick. And we actually have a, a side by side comparison. Jeff, which device do you have at your house? So, um, all right, let me flip over. So I actually have the ROG Strix uh, G17 here. Um, this is the model with the uh, Ryzen 9, uh, I think the 5900HX and the GeForce RTX 3070 and the 300 Hertz uh, full HD display. 
Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna compare this. Hold on, to this ancient 2015 ASUS ROG G752 VS, which um, I mean, it's, it's 2015 a, is ancient. It's it's a tank. We're, we're I mean, well, I <laughs> yeah. mean, yeah, I'm just gonna. Close no, I know. This. in technology years, that is ancient. I mean, this I, this I look, is look a tank, and I mean, it's still a beautiful. Here's device, the thing. Right? If you would sh it is, but this it's funny how much the style has changed too. Oh my uh -huh. gosh! Look at how much thicker it is than like, than this year's model. So that's insane. And this, like, that's this, the, that's the Zephyr M16. Oh, that's no, M16. it's actually that's not. Right. This is um, this oh, is a, this is a Zephyr Duo, uh, oh, which okay. is, is one of our. The... This is one of our biggest devices that we make today. Has two yeah. displays, and it is half the thickness. Right. What's so crazy? At... If you had showed me that laptop and said, what year is this from? I would have been like 2010. That sounded. Like, that was not the good. The style was, has was, changed a lot. That was, that was, that was not good. Um, the, nice job. I, that's the other thing. That's the other thing. If I try to lift this with one hand, it like, we're talking 10 pounds here. This is not a fun, yeah, right. fun thing yeah, to lift with one. It's like, I'm like straining we were, to do that. Whereas, you know. We were talking about, this we were talking about the fine. dimensions of these things earlier, right? Uh, and that thing is like two inches thick, 10 pounds. Yeah, nine uh, nine point five pounds. Inches. Like yeah, right. Like and you've got a I don't know two eighty watt power adapter on top of that. Uh, um, probably I don't know. Something I, like it, that. If you, it's, it's some it, massive, it's, mass, it's some massive gigantic. power brick. It's right? like an it's like a original Xbox power brick. Like you could kill someone yeah. with it. <laughs> um, yeah. And, you and know, so, but you have this, you have this G17 here. Like just look at how relatively thin that is. Like this is the when it's closed, it's like an inch thick. Well, and, yeah, and even, for even something even thinner, I do have the S17 here, which yeah, basically right. like defies so, the laws of physics with how thin yeah. it is given the power inside, right. like even thinner than right. that strip. Right, right, yeah. Um, but you know, again, this this uh, this RG this G17 here for the same sc uh, screen size is um, you know half as thick, uh, almost half the weight. That's just insane. And, and like twice yeah. the power, right? Like, yeah, at least twice the yeah. power. Um, we'll actually show that because I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to fire up, we're going to fire up control here. Real yeah, quick. I've already got it fired up. But another thing that I just really want to point out, and just when we talk about these devices, look at the bezel. Look at the gigantic, yeah, at the bezel. gigantic City. bezel on this device. I mean, this, mm -hmm. you know, if we want to talk about the pros of the old devices, well, let's not like. It's, Hell you know, yeah, no. CD tray boy. Wait, that's actually awesome. <laughs> let's also like keep in mind that like five years ago, this thing was the cream of the crop. Yeah, this was, was a, was the this top was a of the fantastic yeah. top of the line device, yeah. and you could still yeah. you could still game. Pretty no, no, this on this that thing. thing right? I, like, I got this. So this was actually um, a device that was sent to me as a sponsorship when I was a full time content creator on my own before I worked for Asus. So I've had this since since twenty um, fifteen, and I, again, like this was my travel streaming laptop. So I used to 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 game and stream on this on the road from hotels and stuff like that. And I'd go to events and I'd film a bunch of stuff on a camera, come back, edit it on this machine. This machine is still phenomenal but we're talking top 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 of the line i mean it's a 17.3 inch display 64 gigs of ram has a 980m so gtx 980m which again mm. phenomenal gpu even by today's standards it's still a phenomenal right. gpu you could still um, game on that and, for sure and yeah, it's got sure. an i7 58 let me see if i can find it on this product i can't i don't remember the exact number 5820 yeah hs or something something around there yeah uh, 6820, sorry, 6820. Yeah, uh, 6820. HK, HK, 2.7 uh, gigahertz processor. Um, yeah. But but like one of the, the big things about this is I would bring this on an airplane, right? Br break my yeah. back, you got 10, <laughs> barely fits in my bag. And the battery lasts, it says up to four hours is the average. But I'll Which again, I'll tell for you, a gaming laptop at the time was... Yeah, and it, <laughs> that's, right. that's putting it in like battery saver mode like it, it really yeah, doesn't yeah. it really does not last very long Our, well, especially laptops, not if you're gaming yeah yeah right so the um but the reason we bring all this up is to just make the point that uh and again this this uh g17 here doesn't consume a whole lot less power than that um but we we've thinned out we've been able to thin out the chassis um and you know reduce the weight reduce the bezel size all this stuff um in part you know everything about a laptop is constrained by thermals Right, mm -hmm. and so we, we have this intelligent cooling design approach, um, 
We use, you know, it starts right at the CPU and GPU dies. On some of our products, we use liquid metal on both. Uh, the, Strix, the Strix G15 Advantage Edition has liquid metal on both the CPU and GPU. The G17 here only has it on the uh, CPU. Um, but you know, again, we're, we're so we're transferring heat more effectively out of the processors. Um, you know, we, we've got these dense arrays of heat pipes. We've you know we've greatly refined the fan design over time uh, to both increase airflow, reduce noise levels, um, and the net result is you know again. Obviously, processors have gotten more power. You know, processors produce more performance in that time, but we're you know we're dealing with roughly a similar amount of heat um, output. Uh, and even so, you know, we've been able to make all these improvements. And it's really what, pretty remarkable. What is the noise like between so that, these two machines? So that is actually, in my opinion, one of the most remarkable things about this laptop um, is that. Even under, you know, we're, we're getting about 90 frames per second here as I run around the uh, central area of the uh, the oldest house in control without RTX on, which, you know. Yeah, we're running at uh, identical settings. We're both on high settings. Yeah, um, we're both on high you have, settings. You have RTX and DLSS disabled, right? Yes. So 980M yes. so getting... versus, uh, you're on a 3080 or 3070? 3070. 3070. Um, but more than you know, I think more yeah. than twice the performance. Is about yeah, 90 yeah. Frames per I'm getting I'm getting like thirty to forty um, FPS, yeah. which is I more mean than, okay, at, so at high three times the performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some I mean, right now in this area where there's nothing happening, it's forty four yeah. FPS right now. Um, okay. But when I'm in combat, it tends to go down. And... Wait, thirty to forty FPS? That's like that's console quality. <laughs> I, I mean, like, still, so we we like. I think a lot of people in the PC community would kind of scoff at that, but that is like absolutely playable. This is hundred percent. This is hundred percent playable. Play games. This is hundred yeah. percent playable. Um, but but playable 90, 90 frames per second on a three hundred hertz screen is like, yeah, insane improvement. And again, this yeah. is this is a top of the line laptop. It's yeah, it's six years old. But if I if I drop it down to medium or like low medium settings, you're yeah. this is 120 hertz display, and I oh, actually really? I can actually hit 115 fps in this game. Yeah, you can't, you can't because our all of our input devices are limited to 60 frames per second. But like 90 frame 90 fps on this adaptive sync display, it is just Gorgeous. it is yeah. And and out. let's also like you guys are playing in identical settings. What's, so what our resolution are you at, Jeff? Are off. Uh, it's full HD. It's just nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Okay. Yep. So, Jeff on his Strix also has the advantage of uh, if he wanted to get even more than ninety frames per second, he could turn on DLSS. Yes. And which actually make do. like use of that super right. high refresh rate display, which yeah, you can't right. do on a five year old machine, and it's going to make that Strix machine last longer than the five. Like in five years, this Strix machine yeah. is going to feel less dated DLS, because yeah, you can use DLSS. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Which is... We were talking, but we were talking about noise, and one of the really, really remarkable things about this, and I, you know, I started my career in technology uh, as a case reviewer, right? So I'm in like a heat sink reviewer, so I'm really, really sensitive to uh, system noise levels, and like laptops of old were terrible. Like yeah, they just this, sound this like thing, this thing is, um, yeah, engines. it's it's getting there. Yeah. It's, I mean, look at look at the it look at the turbines like, on this baby. Like yeah. that thing is ready to just, um, just fly away. Right. And, and so in the past, it's like, well, OK, we're looking at 55 to 60 dBA. It sounds like a hair dryer. You have to have headphones on. And even then, it's penetrating through closed headphones. And it, you know, and the other thing is, though, it's like, well, if I, if I have closed headphones or if I have a, you know, a noise canceling headset, why would I care? And it's like, well, if you have people around you, if you share a house. They care. Well, yeah. <laughs> If you're at a call in a college dorm with roommates who are trying to study, they care. Uh, they don't want to listen to this thing, uh, you know, like screaming as you, yep. uh, you know, frag noobs or whatever you're doing. <laughs> and uh, I, you can't see it here, um, but I have I, a, a calibrated sound meter app on my phone. Um, I'm holding off screen, and if I t stop talking, be very quiet. If you stop talking, then the the Discord noise gate filter might actually just be canceling it out. But <laughs> well, it's not going to cancel. Because that is actually it's not going it's not not to cancel. It. You're not. I'm not trying to let you hear it. He, he's I'm, listening. I'm oh, okay. He's letting his yeah, phone listen to, to his laptop. laptop. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I see. Yeah, he's yeah, letting his I'm phone listen. I'm trying to let the sound meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to let the sound meter settle. But at 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 gameplay distance, this laptop is only producing 45 dBA. Yeah. That is incredible. That's insane. That is really incredible performance for a. You know, a system of this caliber, 
I can, I have one ear cup off. Like you can see, actually, I, I don't know why I pressed that on this one. I have one ear cup off my ear. It's, it's barely bothersome or it's not bothersome at all. It just sounds like air moving. Yeah. And yeah. if you turn on, if, if you unmute the game, you can totally play the game without headphones. It is really, really, really incredible. Performance, well, that, in that's opinion. also a matter of, I mean, the speakers on laptops have gotten significantly better too. Yeah, that's Like true. speakers right. on laptop used to be like just a punchline in a laptop review. Like, yeah. <laughs> it, has, it has speakers, I guess. But now it's like, like, again, I was using this S17 and I was like, um, this is actually, like I could definitely play a game on these speakers. Yeah. Uh, which, which is kind of mind blowing to me, um, especially like as a bit of an audio nerd, like I would still prefer to use headphones, mm -hmm. but like, yeah, that's the yeah, fact that you can hear the that. speakers over yeah. the fan and that it actually sounds pretty good right. is wow. It's solid. Nothing like yeah. It, it's yeah. It's, it's just a total it, it. And we were talking about battery life too. We've talked about how, you know, nearly half the weight, nearly twice the performance, you know, we, we, you know, the specs on the, that, that, um, that ROG laptop that Jake has there, you know, they might have claimed four hours of web browsing or whatever, you know, gaming, gaming and battery life. You don't really want to do anyway, yeah. uh, but you know, it, it's um, it, it, you can do it. The the, the thing about this is, um, in real world, you know, we've we've done real world experiential um, kind of testing of these, and uh, you know, the 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 rough sense you get, you, you can get like ten hours of web browsing, eight to ten hours of web browsing out of this thing. You know, and that's unheard of uh, in gaming laptops from like even two or three years ago, mm -hmm. and certainly five years ago. Um, I have a I have an older system, um, and it's just it's useless uh, away from a wall plug. I you just it's yeah, this, like this okay, thing well, is... I unplug it. You know, I unplug it. Like I get a, like an hour and a half of battery life, and then I have to plug it in again. It's like why would I even bother? So Jeff, that's actually a really you know? it's a really good point to make though, because back in the day when with these high end gaming laptops, we didn't even call them gaming laptops. They were literally yeah. called desktop replacements because yeah, I remember that. the the right. the battery life was so pitiful that you would right. not be buying this to use without having it plugged in almost all the time. And you know, for someone like me, this mm -hmm. is this is what I needed. I needed a desktop that. I could throw in my bag, right? And the only way to get mm -hmm. that kind of performance was in a desktop replacement. Again, this has an mm -hmm. SD card slot on the side. Like as a creator that was doing video editing and, and stuff, this thing still is actually phenomenal. Like if I had to like pull mm -hmm. up and render a video on this laptop right now, it's going to be able to yeah. do a decent job in it, which is impressive as hell. It would but, be fine. But for, for modern day laptops, the fact that oh, you're getting that you're getting something twice <laughs> as good, the dead letters, something twice dead as good. Letters. For, for half the size, again, let me just, you know, throw this over here and compare this to a 15 inch display. So it's obviously going to be smaller, but this is the, the Zephyrus Duo. You've got two, yeah, right. two displays and I can disconnect the internet and the power for a little while, at least just so I can handle these a little bit more easily. Um, you know, we're again, double display, smaller keyboard, much more compact layout. Uh, really, really cool. The Zephyrus Duo. Again, for anyone that wasn't here before, to show the size comparison, <laughs> every time. Yeah, it's be careful. It's, I, that that it, thing's that that's got some mass. Yeah, don't drop it again. So no. smooth noodles uh, in chat was asking um, uh, what laptop Jeff was using. The Strix G17. He said it's this a nice is the laptop. Strix G17. He said, it uh, yeah. I, I, so I said that. And he said, thanks. That looks really portable. And, and I want to make clear too that the Strix G17 that Jeff is using right now is not even our most portable gaming device no yeah like, not even right. close we're, we're we're comparing like the strix is um kind of our if it's, you it's want our big boy that's lots our, of that's our you yeah, know the our closest yeah. quote unquote big boy like but, this but, is if you want yeah. a, a lot of power without spending yeah. a ton of money to cram it into yeah. a small space but right. if you take like this zephyrus s17 or even some of the smaller zephyrus models like the the um zephyrus g14 or g15 or m16 like you're talking about an actually portable 14 or 15 inch laptop that you can take anywhere with you yeah. and have actual gaming power and actual serious battery life you can do work on, which mm -hmm. is was unheard of a few years ago. Um, so this right. is not even like the most flattering comparison yeah. we could make. This is actually right. the fairest comparison we could make yeah. and it only right. gets better.
Right. right. That's why we, we chose the G17 to compare because, yeah. they, you know, when it comes to what we were creating and, you know, six years ago, they are the two most directly related devices. This yeah, was the best gaming in, laptop. Yeah. It's a 17 inch display. This was the best thing you could have gotten on the market yeah. uh, in 2015. Mm -hmm. And I think the G, you can get the G17 with a 3080, right, Jeff? Yep. Uh, yeah. I do not know off the top. I believe of my so. Head. You yep. might have to upgrade to a different, you might have to get a SCAR at that point. Oh, oh you, you might be right. Basic. Oh, you you may be right. It's the same basic principle. You're right. You might the, have to get a scar. The, at the that scar point. might have been a better comparison when, if we're actually, that is the, our number one. So, 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 so Sia NXH says, this, "What's the more? What's more worthy to buy the the scar 17 or the G17?" I mean, well, it, depends you 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 it, well, <laughs> it depends on what you want. It depends on what you're trying to how do. How many money trees do you have now? The, the scar is definitely the the highest price point. The scar is the the no. Yeah, this the scar is the no holds left barred. Out, yeah, know, 360 we, hertz display. Yeah, right. Um, there's two. Isn't there two the versions? Stuff. There's a QHD version that's 180. One. I mean, I'll say five. One sixty five. Yeah. Um, between a 3070 and a 3080 it's hard to go too wrong yeah i mean right. you're talking about two incredible right. laptops with incredible power behind them but if you want if, okay he says unlit he or she says unlimited money i want powerful laptop then the okay, answer well, is the scar uh, 17 scar. yeah scar that, that's scar. 17. it's a beast or, but it, it, again if that's if you're you looking for something to yeah. game on more than anything else then you're going for a scar um, if you're yep, looking yep. for something that's more tool, I mean, there's there's a lot of options. There's a lot of variables because, like, my favorite laptop I've ever used that we make is actually the Flow X13. The Flow. Um, it, it's, I was actually going to ask this. Hold on. Let's now that we've had all this discussion, both of you, if you obviously we all have just revolving doors of all these laptops coming through our offices all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Because this is what we do. Yep. To some degree, uh, yes. So if but if you were to buy one of these laptops today, one of the gaming laptops from this year's lineup. What would be your personal choice? Flow. I have a desktop. The flow. I game on my desktop as my primary gaming device. The flow is me. I mean, me too. But if I had the flow, I'm not sure I would need the desktop anymore. That's well, the because beauty the XG of the Mobile. flow. Yeah. Is that yeah. you, you bring it home and you dock it to the XG Mobile. And then all of a sudden it's a right. gaming desktop that takes up this much space. Like that's, I think, that's the beauty of the flow. I think I've fallen in love right. with the option to have the touchscreen. And I really enjoyed the touchscreen experience with the flow. Um, mm -hmm. I can get, I can take that. So I think that's just kind of the thing that really makes me enjoy that. All right. All right, Jeff. Uh, it's, it, I mean, for me, it's hard to say, because honestly, that S17, when, I, when I'm going to have... I knew you were gonna you were going to say log... that. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though, because when, when I log, or no, I shouldn't say log, because that system is quite portable for what yeah, it is. Yeah, lugging is what um, Jake is doing is with this, this thing yeah. right now. Lugging, yeah. lugging, is the, lugging is the 10 pound <gasps> beast with the 280 watt power adapter. Like, when I'm, when I'm on thing. the road... It's huge. Go ahead. When I'm, when I'm, on, when I'm on, the, on the road, I don't want to, like, I just want to be ready for anything. Yeah. Right, I, and like the S17 has you know 16 gigs of VRAM, it has the 3080 in it, has the full size SD card reader, um, has a really nice screen. It, it is indisputably ready for anything, right? Yeah. And it's not so huge, you know. It's 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 this thing is more powerful laptop. than my desktop. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a sm it's not a small laptop by any sense. The stress of the imagination, but I used to use a 15 inch laptop all the time when I was in media, and, you know, on the road, and it just yeah. doesn't bother me that much. I'm okay with about five pounds of laptop, and that's an incredible amount of power in five pounds of laptop. Um, so and so yeah. Based on that logic, then I'm I'm going with the duo just because the dual screen, like I, the dual screen yeah, for the productivity, is going to be your other choice. It, it, it is my other streamer. choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like if I if I had because I don't travel anymore with the pandemic, so I don't really I'm not thinking well, yeah. of it for that kind of use case. But if, if if I needed a device for actually on the go, then the duo is the the only choice because the secondary display, which yeah. is touch, is really nice. Um, the ScreenPad Plus is actually just an amazing device for both productivity, but also creative work. This device kind of has everything. Um, yeah, I, I, is there any, the, the only thing I could see wanting on this is an SD card slot, but you know, that's such a that's unnecessary why I've got USB item. ports. Yeah, exactly. You can just always yeah. have it. I have a USB uh, SD card reader anyway. So, you know, you, you have those options available, but I know mm -hmm. I see people are typing the giveaway command in chat. So we'll we'll get the keyword back on screen guys. We'll, we'll do one final giveaway. Um, actually, we'll, we'll drop two keys. That's what we usually do at the end of the stream on pulse. We'll drop two 
uh, $20 Games Planet vouchers via Twitch chat. In Twitch chat, you have to type techno. We do not, none of our commands work on, on, on uh, we've seen people typing laptop and stuff all day on YouTube. You guys, there's, it doesn't do anything, unfortunately. So I don't know if you're just thinking you're going to win a YouTube or win a, a giveaway or something by typing that, but um, you they just want to be part of the club. Yeah, we're all techno, they're, techno, they're, techno, they're techno, spamming techno. they're spamming like the laptop command a lot on youtube and it's a weird oh yeah, well yeah. we are talking about laptops it's yep, true I that's died. true I, it's true maybe they're just saying laptop exclamation point. <laughs> must, must be it must be it <laughs> and and guys no we we don't just give away laptops for free we do do giveaways all the time we give away video games last week we we gave a couple weeks ago we gave away some moonlight white peripherals an entire set of peripherals yeah which you can see oh wow sitting up here they're they're gorgeous i could grab them while while the giveaway is entered i will do that they're beautiful <laughs> and i'm gonna have to replay this game because i i forgot how gorgeous it was it it's was good and i didn't even i think i played it i think i did i play it on pc or i might have played it on game pass it is I, it's still one of the best implementations of ray tracing it is um, available if you're like what's the deal with ray tracing that's yeah that's this one is of the, the game to play this is sure. the game it's, um, it's definitely been the game that i've used the most to show off ray tracing on this stream but yeah um isn't it beautiful it's it's a great it's a great story and it's a lot of fun to play so yeah it is i you know what this this is what i played it on a console i don't even remember which one but i wish i had played it with mouse and keyboard yeah it's it's a little i i don't know how i would play with a controller but I'm just so bad at shooters with a controller. I love controllers even, for some games, but yeah, even third person, I feel like it's a very different. Uh... Even third person, but control especially is nice because, um, yes, I Jake's gaming chair does have LEDs inside. That is the ROG. What is it called? The ROG Chariot. throne chariot. Chariot. And it has RGB. Pretty, we don't mess around. Pretty glorious. Um, yeah, I, it, it is better. And the nice thing about control is it has all of those different difficulty sliders and stuff. So you can adjust like like auto aim kind of things and stuff like that, which would make it mm -hmm. more doable with a controller for me. But um, yeah, it's I've just given I've I've resigned myself to the fact that some games I just got to go mouse and keyboard. M most of the games I play, actually, probably. Yeah. It's just really nice to sit on the couch sometimes. I, I get it. I get it. Um, man, I'm pretty soon I'm going to. I'm gonna have a full room cam. I'm almost, I'm almost there. Oh, nice! So I can show off my repulsive quantities of RGB that I <laughs> that I have in this room at this point. I actually have a I camera. That repulsive, you mean friggin' camera. awesome? I, yeah, I, I love it. I mean, my ceiling lights, you know, my wall behind me, my chair. What? I don't know. What else can I get? The back of my monitor has RGB. Like there's a big, there's an R, there's an RGB RGB logo on the back of my display <laughs> that you can only see when you first enter my room if you look for it. It's just like so so excessive, but I love it. I, you're getting a new headset, but you didn't get the RGB one. I'm sorry. On, I needed one with an aux cable. I know you did. I know. Okay. I know. I'll have the RGB headset to pretend. Good. All right. We've got, <laughs> we've got a lot of entries for this giveaway. Um, and you know what? I, I hate everything because I didn't actually start the giveaway. Oh my! <laughs> Sorry. There's there's two there's two things I have to do. I only did one of them. So type techno in all caps again. Keep the spam going. Keep the spam flowing. Everyone, if you typed techno, yeah. do it again. <laughs> Look, I, I was I was, I was just given time for the guys on YouTube to make their way over because I had they did not everyone <laughs> had the link. I was giving you guys time. All right, so we already got 24 people that spammed it. It's 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 compiling pretty good, um, but yeah, Jeff no. is just gaming now. Dude, Jeff is he's like Jeff has well, he loves building. control. I'm entranced. He loves control. He, I, you entranced. know, I liked it, but it wasn't like it wasn't God of War for me. Yeah, it was up no. there. It was but up I did there. Really yeah, I wouldn't it. hold it up so, there. Oh, it's just, a really good game, but I'm not going to hold it up as one of the best of all time. I just like that. I I'm <laughs> so I'm a huge fan of architecture. I like brutalism. I'm just like, oh, I can just walk through oh. this space all day long. Yeah, that's and like, fair. Just appreciate the institutional architecture. Yeah, that's this is how I uh, spend my free time. Well, and you know what? It, it was definitely one of the more unique games I have played. Yeah. And that's like, you know, that's 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 something. Yeah. Uh, in a in a market that seems like flooded with a lot of the same Copycats stuff sometimes. And, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really nice yeah. to see something unique, AAA come from 
a developer like that, which is also like, yeah, pushing the boundaries of technology in terms of ray tracing and DLSS and all of that stuff. Like it really controls one of those games that checks a box for everyone uh, in a lot of different ways. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just want to quickly highlight some of the upcoming streams that we have. So tomorrow we're going to be playing Back for Blood co-op. We've got four guys that are just going to jam some games. Um, you guys have probably seen Lane, Chris, or Dan on the show in the past, but that's going to be our Back for Blood zombie cleaning squad. Should be a lot of fun. <laughs> that starts at 3 p.m. next week on, on Tuesday. Eastern, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, sorry, what did I say? Oh, I didn't, I didn't specify You just said 3 p.m. Next week on Tuesday, weather permitting, I'm planning on taking the Zephyrus duo outside, doing an outdoor stream by my fire pit, enjoying that night nice fall weather while also um, diving into uh, a, a spooky game and that one is uh, visage is the big one that people have been asking for so I think that's going to be a visage stream Wednesday night we're doing ROG late night where we're going to be um, just kind of hanging out we might have some uh, horror games trivia but we're also looking at a I forget the name of the game. It's kind of choose your own adventure style horror game where oh, we're, yeah, we're gonna lit we're gonna lit Twitch chat uh, basically make the decisions for us, and it's a, it's about a two hour game start to finish. So we're gonna let you guys. I think we can make it through. It's all supposed of it. to be really really quite horrifying um but i'm, I'm excited yeah. for it uh that's gonna be wednesday night jeff if you want to come and get i know you're not big on horror uh, but if you want to come wednesday <laughs> night and, and and get uncomfortable yeah, with I, us then you're welcome to join um, I'll be, I'm, I'm taking a, and taking a couple days off but i'll be back in the saddle wednesday so uh, let us know that'll we'll be, be that'll be me late. and jake and yo-yo will be there yeah yeah i think around 8 p.m we're going to be doing that wednesday next week um I don't know what we're doing for Pulse next week. Motherboard discussion for Pulse next week. We've got a new motherboard to talk about. And Friday, um, secrets, secrets. secrets. Um, and Friday, we are going to be jumping in and uh, doing more, probably back for blood. We're, it's Halloween next week. We got to enjoy I, okay. the festivity. Can I, can I reserve a spot on the back for yes. blood team next Friday since I had to miss this Friday? I yes. got to get in on that. It was so fun last time. Good. I want to mow down some zombies. There's a bunch of new acts, so there's there's a lot. lot oh more yeah, content. I want to see the new maps and yeah, stuff too. Me, me too. I'm I'm actually very eager because I haven't played it all yet. I I did like a, a couple hours of, not even. Um, just kind of fired it up. Performance seems better in the full launch. That is another thing. Maybe it's because I have a 3080 Ti now, but I don't think that would be the yeah, thing that makes a difference. That seems like cheating. I don't yeah. remember performance really being a problem for me in the beta, it but I little, think I was a on a 3080 at the time. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we're gonna close. We're gonna close the entries and and draw our, our two winners. You guys need to confirm that you're here. Catastrophic will be the first winner. Catastrophic, please confirm that you're here in the chat. Um, he says, "Woo! Right. We're gonna pick Woo. one more, one more winner. It is V R O G D, V R O G D. Please confirm that you're here. Those would be our our three victors of today's giveaways. V R O G D. Please. There we go. That is not even pronounceable. Nope. Rogged, rogged, rogged. He's Rog. got. Wait, wait. He's got rog in his name." ROG. In oh, his name. nice. <laughs> cool. Um, well, with that being said, uh, I, I know you guys both have busy weekends. Jeff, do you want to plug what you're doing this weekend? I think you should. I think um, you should. No, you don't want to. It's up to you. I, okay. So, what are you I, doing this weekend? Again. So, okay. Let, let me let me preface this. I, I will. I, I've plugged it on my own stream, so I guess I'll do it here. But let me preface this and just say there's no there's no sponsorship. There's no association here whatsoever. It's just a personal favor I'm doing for a buddy. But um, my uh, my good friend uh, Stephen George, um, who you can find uh, Stephen S T E P um, H E N uh, G E O R G. Uh, Stephen George on Twitch? is um, yeah. Well, see Stephen George everywhere, but okay. uh, you can find. It, he every year we do um it's grown into a whole thing but every year he he streams for extra life um extra life is a charity uh, organization that helps collect money uh for local children's hospitals uh get those get them all sorts of resources um steven is one of the top individual fundraisers for extra life um we basically sit around for 24 hours and play uh games from a console library uh in, in this case it's going to this year it's going to be the nintendo wii um nice we have the entire Wii library at our disposal. And I so just how this got works, a Wii. No, no. Did you just hear what he just said, Whitson? He has the entire Wii library. Like, literally, if, if the game exists, they have it. 
That's yeah, a plan. huge yeah. library too. Like, yeah. like yeah. it's it, like it physical takes up an discs too. We're not talking library. about digital yeah. copies. We're talking about physical yeah. copies okay. of yeah. every, so have every Wii game. Wii disc. What are you doing with every Wii disc? So you building a house out of them? Or? How, no, 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 no. So here's how it works. Um, if if you go head over to a stream and you donate, you can donate your money towards a certain game. And if a game oh, gets yes. enough donations, it floats to the top of the list. And we, you know, every 30 minutes or so, we pick the top game and um, we'll play it for 30 minutes until, you know, and donations will continue in the background until, and then at the end of that 30 minutes, we'll select a new game and that gets bumped off bliss, so on and so forth until we fall over from uh, exhaustion. I have uh, so but, many games I want to pick already. Dude, I know, it's such a cool uh, idea yeah. for a concept. And you guys raised an incredible amount of money last year. Yeah. yeah. Um, like yeah. incredible amount of money. Like it's well, and it's all yeah. for a good cause. So uh, we, it's, it's really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think the total last year was 131k. So nice. again, yeah. It is. It again. It, it's it's really really amazing. Um, but yeah, check him out, Stephen George. Um, I, I think he's uh, uses. Yeah, you just search Stephen George Extra Life. You'll find him. Um, uh, his his channels on uh, YouTube are Stephen Vlog and Stephen Plays. Uh, you can find those there too. There's more details there. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool event. It, happen, it takes place Saturday. I think it starts at noon Eastern. Um, we'll be running again, like I said. We'll be running uh, until we just can't anymore. Uh, until we've raised all we can. And <laughs> I, yeah, stop by, check it out. Again, just totally personal thing. No sponsorship. No relationship between um, us and yeah, him. Yeah, but yeah. you know, it's really cool. So awesome. Definitely the kind of thing where I'm all about self promotion because um, all sorts of fun. Yeah, it's, it's a really cool fun. event. I, I can't wait to tune in this weekend. So when does it start? Because there's Saturday a, or uh, I think it's it's noon Eastern Saturday. Okay, the twenty third, and uh, it's um, again you know there are some wild games in the Nintendo oh, Wii yeah. library. And the fact there's that yeah. Wii we is going to be particularly fun because these are not just games we're playing with a controller. We can force They're you guys physical. to play to play WarioWare yeah. or we, WarioWare yeah. is yeah. the best game in the Wii library. Yeah. I think. Yeah, probably. There, there are some. Yeah. There, there are a few we can't play because you know copyright issues. But um, sure, it, it's yeah. It, most of the breadth of that entire library is open, and if you can get people behind a game to donate, like that's the whole part of the thrill of it is like what's going to float to the top. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a really cool time. Check it out. Uh, this Saturday, um, October 23rd, noon Eastern, um, twitch.tv slash uh, Stephen, I think, underscore George. Okay. Or it may just all be one word. It's I, well, I frankly don't know off the top of my head. But um, In this, the year of our Lord 2021, I just got a Wii, basically. <laughs> so now I'll get some game ideas to play. The Wii is the last console I went to a midnight <laughs> launch for. That's the last time I ever did really? that in my life was for the Wii. Yeah, I, came, I remember coming <laughs> home late at night and playing Zelda Twilight Princess with my brother until the Wii hours of the night. Get it? The Wii hours the of Wii, the night? Very nice. <laughs> uh, guys, yeah. that's... <laughs> sorry. I think yeah, we... Sorry, I do want to correct myself. It's, it's Stephen George all one. Word. Okay, no wonder so. Yeah, if that's where you want to Stephen no PH would not be S T E P H E N G E O R G E dot com. No, 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 no. Nope. G E O R G. Oh, oh, no E at the end. No Man. E. Man, he's got yeah. a. Stephen Jorg. Jorg. Uh, no, it's not. No, no, no. no. It's, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just kidding. I know. I know. <laughs> Good buddy of mine. So awesome. Looking forward to it. Check it best, out. Best of luck. Um, but guys, that's going to do it for Pulse. Congratulations to the winners of the giveaways today. I'll be sending you guys a message on Twitch via private message. So look forward to that in the next 15, 20 minutes. Um, till next time, next week or tomorrow, we'll be playing back for blood on Twitch. So we'll see you then. GG's and take care.